<laughs> the shadow who aids the forces of law and order is in reality Lamont Cranston, wealthy young man about town. Years ago in the Orient, Cranston learned a strange and mysterious secret. The hypnotic power to cloud men's minds so they cannot see him. Cranston's friend and companion, the lovely Margot Lane, is the only person who knows to whom the voice of the invisible shadow belongs. Today's story, The Caverns of Death. I know you too well to think it's morbid curiosity. There are several things about this accident that I'd like to understand more fully. Well, what things, Lamont? I wonder if anyone has taken the trouble to find out exactly how those young men fell into the pit. Well, yes, of course. The railing broke and the rim of the crater gave way. But isn't that rim solid rock? Yes, I think so. How strange that it collapsed, don't you think? Well, I hadn't thought of that. Even more important, why hasn't any trace of those young men been found? Well, they're supposed to have fallen into a bottomless pool. A strange pool that refuses to give up its dead. There must be something mysterious about that pit, Margot, and when we reach the caverns, I intend to find out what it is. I shouldn't be taking you in here. 
These taverns were officially closed after the accident. So nothing has been discovered yet? No, ma'am. There was a party down there about an hour ago. We didn't find a thing. Yes, here we are. This is the pit. That's it. That must be the place where the wind gave way. Uh, yes, ma'am. That's it. Broke off very evenly, didn't it? Yes. Rocks do that sometimes. Might I examine it? Well, you can't go near there. That's all then. Very well. Tell me, how did the searching party get into the pit? Rope ladder. Over on the other side. The bottom of the pit entirely covered by the pool. There's a wide ledge on one side. That's why the searching party went down over there. Wait for me up here, Margot. Where are you going? The bottom of the pit. That's pretty risky, going down there alone. Oh, but he's not going alone. Well, I'm not going with him. I know I am. But, Margot... You, I'm going with you, Lamont. Well, if you've made up your mind, I know better than to argue with you. Here's the letter. What about these papers, guys? Are they very hot? No, after you're down 20 feet, you'll be past them anyhow. Well, here we go. I'll lead the way. Careful when you start, Margot. These four bladders are tricky. Keep going, Lamont. I'm right behind you. I'll be a lot happier when you pass through these papers. Yes, it's that... Oh! What's the matter? I almost slipped. Yes, Margot, be careful. Yes, I will. There. And beyond the papers. How far is it to the bottom? I'll use my flashlight. Hmm. I'm a little way now. The ledge is directed below it. The voice is down strange down here. Hollow. Like a tree. That's what it is, Margo. There. Yeah. On the ledge. Easy now. I'll get down. Thank you. Watch your step. These rocks are slippery. I know. That's how everything feels down here. I mean, cold. Take a look around. Take those. Hold my hand. All right, Lamont. It's the pool. It looks so black and sinister. Yeah, it's easy to believe that it's bottomless. Now we start in this direction and circle the pool. All right. Oh, it's dark down here. Come on. Did you hear that? Yes. Yes, I did. What was it? Don't know. It seems to be coming from the pool on our right. Who's there? No flashlight on it. No one answers. Look, Lamont. Someone's clinging to the edge of the pool. Oh. Come on, Marco. Lamont, you suppose it could be one of the... We'll see. Take a light, Marco. I'll help now the water. Give it to me. Oh, I don't know. Come on, here you are. Lamont, it is one of the students. I know it is. I, I've seen him around the village. Hey. Uh, I've got to get out. I've got to get out. Take it easy, take it easy. We'll get you out. Oh. What about the others? Are they alive? You understand me? Are they alive? Railing's breaking. They're falling. Oh, oh. He's too delirious. He's a very sick boy. Get him out of there quickly. I'll call the guy. Hello? Hello, sir. What do you want? I want the students alive. You are alone. What do you want? 
conversation. I heard your conversation with the two men that just left. What are they afraid that you will tell? Nothing. Nothing. Come now, you've no reason to fear me. If you'll give me the information I seek, I may be able to help you get away from here. Oh, I'm only the cook here, I tell you. I don't know nothing. Who is the man in the gas mask? Well, he's the boss. That's all I know. I never seen his face. Why does he wear the mask? They always wear masks when they go to the lower level of the cabin. Lower level? Then there's more to the cabins than the public is viewed. Sure, that's where the... Hey, I told you I don't know nothing. You must realize that you will never leave this place alive unless I help you. And you help me. Well, maybe, maybe you're right. You know I am. Now, what about those boys? Are they alive or dead? I don't know. But when they fell, it wasn't no accident. Somewhere in the wall of that pit, there's a seat. Oh, I know I shouldn't have told. He's uh, dead. Yes. And that, Mr. Shadow, is all that you're going to hear. I presume that you are the man they call the boss. That's right, Shadow. We're meeting on equal terms. Although I can't see you, I too am hidden, safe behind this wall. What happened to those boys? That's my affair, Shadow. And I advise you to keep out of it. That dead man on the floor is proof that I mean business. I regard that as a challenge. From now on, it is war between us. I promise to save those young men and bring you and your gang to justice.
down the passageway. Stay close to the wall. I'll be right beside you. Did you discover anything? No. Now I've been too concerned with finding you. So you're out of the other deck quickly. That's not very far. Quick. I find this rock Don't move. Can't wait as much more than I'm looking for. Mind for a while, we'd be slowed up too. I think I can wake them up. Hand me that whip. No, no, boys, don't hit the boys. They're half dead now. Hand me that whip. I look a little lively. Confident, aren't you? I am. There are a few details that 
think you've overlooked, Shadow. This chamber is filled with a gas that destroys the willpower. In a few minutes, you will feel its effect, and we will be able to see you. I feel its effect. Yours has been a crime of violence, Gatman. But the law will be lenient. They deserve to die. 